I want to give you a simple three-part framework to understand how to grow your business, grow your audience, and grow your sales. This is a framework that I've been teaching to my clients for uh, actually a few years, I think. And now I'm finally going to give you a summary here as a, as a free video. So this is something, a tool that you can use to diagnose why your audience is not growing or why your sales are not growing, why you're not getting enough client inquiries. And the framework goes like this. A-R-T. I quite like the acronym. It spells ART. And A-R-T stands for alignment, reach, and trust. Each one of these three is a lever to increase, to grow your audience and to grow your sales, to grow more client inquiries. So let's talk through each one briefly. Alignment A, the first one, means that you are selling, you are offering what your audience wants rather than just what you think they need. Okay, there's a difference there. Now, the example I always like to use is, let's say I'm a relationship coach and uh, I think my audience, my, my ideal clients need to learn listening skills so they could use better listening skills and attention skills with their partner and thereby letting, allowing their partner to blossom and naturally show more love and attention, etc. Right? But my audience, my I, potential clients, they come to me and they say, I just got to get my partner to listen to me better, to attend to me better, to love me more. Right? So my audience wants their partner to change. And what I think my audience needs is for themselves to change how they interact with their partner and thereby, you know, so that's an example. I'm not a relationship coach, so I don't know. You could, the relationship coaches, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong on that one and share your opinion. But, but I would like for you to comment below if you want to. What is the difference, you think, between what your audience wants versus what you think they need? What you think they need is usually some kind of skill you think they need to develop. What they want is like some result or some external change in the world, right? So what do you think they need, uh, they, they want versus what, versus what you think they need? So alignment A is when you, when you post content and when you post offers, you know, products and services that matches really well what your audience wants. And when that happens, you've got plenty of engagement with your content and plenty of engagement with your offers. Now you might say, George, if I post what they want, what, what about what I think they need? do both right you post and you offer you sell what they want primarily you sell what they want but in the product you also deliver what you think they need so i would for example sell a program if i were a relationship coach i'd sell a program on how to get your partner to listen to you <laughs> how to get your partner to love you more right and then once they sign up then i say okay the first step we got to do is we're going to learn these techniques you know, and the technique ends up being, okay, how to listen better to your partner, how to attend more, better to them and, and whatever. So again, I'm not a relationship coach, but you see what I mean. So you sell what they want, but you also deliver what you think they need. So that's alignment. And the better your alignment, the easier it is to sell whatever it is you're selling or to get people to engage with your content, likes, comments, all that stuff. And so how do you get alignment? You do market research conversations and you do polling. Now, I don't want to go too in depth here. This is supposed to be a short video that gives you a, a quick um, overview, but market research is talk to your potential clients to listen about what they want versus what you think they need. Listen what they want. And also polling can be real, real simple, even on Instagram or Facebook, just like which of these topics do you want most or something like that. Okay, so that's alignment. The second one is reach. Reach is, as it sounds like, the, the greater your reach, meaning the more people you can reach with your content and your offers, the more, you're, the more buyers you're going to have, the more clients you're going to have, of course. So even if your alignment's low, so for example, for example, let's say your alignment is low and like you need 100,000 people or ten, let's say 10,000 people reached to get one person to buy. So your, your alignment is like 0.1% you know, sign up rate. Is that right? 10,000, 1,000, 100, one. Okay, yeah. So let's say your alignment's so low that 
whenever you reach a th uh, 10,000 people with your offer, you only get one person buying. But you're still able, able to reach 10,000? What if you reach 50,000? What if you reach 100,000 people? Then you'll get more people buying. So even with alignment low, if your reach is higher, you'll get more sales, right? And um, I have a longer version of this video where I quickly summarize my seven favorite reach strategies. So you can you can look for that if you wish to. But uh, Or if you want to go more in depth, I have a course called Biz Plan that goes into my seven favorite reach strategies. So anyway, but there are things such as Instagram ads, Facebook ads, you know, LinkedIn ads or um, collabs and things like that that are some of my favorites. Let's go to the final letter T for trust. Okay, trust is where if someone trusts you a lot, then even if your alignment is low and they're the only person you can reach, you can only reach one person, your alignment's low, but they trust you so greatly, they'll sign up for whatever you you say that you think they're gonna enjoy. So for example, let's say I have a good friend, um, they trust my opinions a lot because I have shown myself to be trustworthy over time. Then if I say, hey friend, I have this movie I want you to see. I know you know nothing about it, but trust me, it's. I think you're gonna love it. Then my friends can be like, you know what, I, I trust your opinions, all right, I'm gonna go see the movie. That's high trust. The reason why I think it's important to talk about this is two reasons. One is a lot of people, good-hearted people, are falling for bad marketing strategies that actually erode the trust with their audience. If you study my marketing, you'll know that you know I talk about authentic marketing, and authentic marketing is all about building up, nurturing trust with one's audience. A lot of the marketing out there, manipulation, hype, you know, um, fear of missing out and just all kinds of techniques that like you wouldn't do that to your friend why would you do that to your audience it just comes across fake or comes across manipulative but people learn this stuff and they think they have to do it to get clients no you don't and so it's like they don't realize that even though they're good-hearted they're spiritual people they're completely unspiritual in their marketing you know so it, it loses trust secondly consistent content also nurtures trust so as an example i I'm not feeling totally well today. I'm still, right now, I'm, yesterday I was feeling pretty terrible. Right now I'm still recovering. And I didn't feel like making this video, but I, you know, I, I, took a lot, I lo took a lot more naps today than I usually do. But I felt like I had to show up anyway. Number one, I show up for my creativity fitness. Yes, that's a thing, creativity fitness. I show up for this because I gotta stay creatively fit. Number two, I show up because I know I want to be in service to my audience, to you. And I know that by, by serving you from my heart consistently, consistency shows reliability. So if you're consistently showing up, your audience finds you more reliable, and you are more reliable because you show yourself as being consistent. So I show up anyway, even when I'm sick, even when I don't feel so well, I show up anyway on a, on a weekly basis to make content. Even when I was in the depths of COVID, I still show up to make my video. Of course, take extra naps that day or whatever. So trust, you nurture trust through authentic content that's consistently done showing up and also through authentic marketing methods. So anyway, I hope this helps. ART, alignment, reach, and trust. If you just grow these three factors gradually, you're gonna grow your audience and you're gonna grow the number of client inquiries and people who love to buy your stuff. I hope this is helpful and thank you so much for joining me for this.